Hey guys, it's uh, Miss Gately here today. I'm going to be doing a really awesome science um, lesson with you guys today. So to start off, I have brought with me this really cool basketball. Now, if you look at this basketball right here, right now, is it moving? No, of course not. So how could I get this basketball to move? I could dribble it. I could kick it. I could throw it. I could spin it. There are lots of different things I can do to get this ball to move. One really important thing to know is for anything to move on earth, it needs something called force. Can we all say force? Force basically means when you push or when you pull something. Everything on earth moves either from a push or a pull. Let's all practice those words. Put your hands out in front of you and let's all say pull. Okay, now put your hands out in front of you again and let's say, I'll say push. All right, let's try it again. Pull, push. Nice job. Knowing the difference between push and pull can sometimes be a little tricky. So let's look at these two examples that I have to show you of a push and a pull. I have this crocodile on my desk and it is taking up way too much room. So to move it, I'm going to push it. I'm gonna take my blanket and I'm going to pull it across my deck. Now that we have seen a couple examples of push and pull, let's play a game. I'm going to show you a video and your job is to guess whether that object is being pushed or pulled. Let's see how you do. Here we go. Nice job with that guessing game. Now here's my last question for you. Let's think about that ball again. How could I get this basketball to move? That's right, you can use force to push or pull the ball to move it. Nice job.